I've already taken the still photos of the vehicle, clear shots of the panel uh, gaps, which I'll be analyzing later. Now what I like to do is I like to get the paint meter readings. Right, uh, I like to capture this on video. So we're gonna start off with the hood here. Hood, five thousandths of an inch, five thousandths. And what we're looking for is our con uh, consistent uh, paint meter readings. When we start seeing some inconsistencies, then that's when we have to suspect you know, uh, repaint or body damage or for a number of reasons, right? I always like to look at the headlight lens cover. Don't I don't see any cloudiness or any cracks, so that looks good. Here on the front uh, panel, I just picked up on a couple of rock chips. Um, here it looks like they just uh, burnt through the paint a little bit. I'm not detailing. The uh, grill looks good and the trident in, in good shape. Right, so again, just, just uh, minor rock chips here. Uh, alignment looks good here from the bumper cover to the fender. Lens is in uh, a good shape as well. Right. And let's get the opposite side readings. Five, five, good. So hood uh, looks good. Left under, four, 4.5, 4.5. So we're getting solid readings. Here looking at the left front uh, tire, it's a 245, 40, 20. These are Lionheart, so I was a little surprised about the brand of the tire. Here we can see just a side, some side wear here and uh, I'll be sure to get the measurements here, but I think they're about five millimeters on the on the tread. Okay. Rim, you can see here where some of the, I don't know if this is powder coating or paint, where it's peeled by when mounting the tire. Uh, one thing that did uh, trouble me here a little bit is the rotor. Uh, it's got a nice lip on there and it's, it's grooved. It's got some pretty deep grooves and we'll see if we can get the brake pad um, there while I'm in here. See if that comes out. And I'd like to take a look at the wheel well area just to check for uh, anything getting kicked up here. We can see the strut uh, assembly here. And then that's just my bed just coming up here. I always like to get a side view here while I'm down here, working my way down and then up. What I'm looking for here is uh, any waviness, uh, dents or dings. Also gives me a chance to look at the outside mirror. Uh, sometimes these get scuffed up, but it looks like it's in good shape. Looking at the windshield here, I've got the, the public VIN data plate still photo and looking at the windshield here as well. I don't see any obvious cracks or uh, big chips. There are some minor uh, little rock chips, probably just from little road trips right there. And then, then one up there on the upper roof line area. Let's get those door panel readings. Five, 5.5, 4.5 and four. That's the left front door. Typically, I'll see some scratching here. It looks pretty good from the fingernails there, but again, I don't see it here. Here on the left rear door, 5.5, 5, 6, 4.5, 4.5. Let me get that reading again. 5.5, 5, 6. Okay, it's a little, a little uh, um, thicker there. Again, uh, no scuff marks here. It looks good. The, the glass, don't see any scratches or uh, chips. Right, uh, here at the left rear wheel, again, same uh, with the paint uh, or uh, powder coat chimping. There's some grooves on the rotors, and then here's a shot of the brake pads. All right, so continuing on with the inspection, uh, uh, Dimitri actually came out and he and he demonstrated that the the coating on the rims it's not painted or it's not powder coat. It's called plastic coat. It's something that is applied with a spray can, right? So I think this is his second application, and he actually. He showed me here where it can be peeled, right? I don't do that. It's not my car to, uh, to tamper with the vehicles, but but just to offer you some clarification that uh, it's just a, a spray on application. Okay, moving on. Here at the, uh, I don't even remember if I got the paint meter readings. I'll start again, 5.5, 5.5, 5. That's the left rear door, okay, quarter panel. N now we're getting some, uh, Paint, uh, higher paint meter readings, eight, let me see, 6.5. Let's do that again, eight, eight, 7.5, 8.5. So it looks, it seems like this quarter panel has been repainted. I can also see some haziness as well. The paint finish is slightly different from the rest of the car. And then the, the uh, paint meter readings uh, support that as well. Let's get the uh, pillar, seven, 7.5, 6.5, roof, 4.5, 5.5 and then the center 
five. The glass looks properly aligned here on the uh, sunroof here. And uh, hold on one second, let me just go show you how, That's it. how easily that is resolved. That's it. That's it. All right, got it. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, and then uh, looking back here, we can make a picture of it if he needs it. And then here's yeah. the uh, plastic dip right there. That's the uh, that's the can right there. Yeah. If you want to get it. Okay. Uh, looking at the uh, here at the rear, working our way up and then down. Right. Just checking for any uh, waviness, dents or dings. And then I don't remember if I got the brake pad here on the. You can see the rotor where it's got a lip, and then the. Uh, brake pad all uh, right uh, here at the rear uh, the rear bumper cover I do see that some haziness here so unfortunately this meter here uh, only reads aluminum and metal this is more like a, a polyurethane uh, material so I'm about to get a reading here tail light lenses look good there's some scuffs here on the rear bumper right. and let's get some more readings here 8.5 5.5 8.5 rear glass looks pretty good and then the roof line here let's get some more readings five and i like to get uh roof readings because i've inspected some cars where you know uh people have jumped on it or you've seen the video on on the news where that happens and i just like to make sure or hopefully uh, uh it had, doesn't happen to the car that i'm inspecting 8.5 7 7.5 7.5 uh, rear rim we see the paint peeling again um let's get it. you see the rotor and then there's the brake pad and then the view from going down and then or up working our way down just looking at the side view there okay let's get some door meter readings five 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 point five four point five five point five five 4.5, 4 4.5, 4 4.5, 4, 4. I believe I already got the, the roof re or the hood readings, 4 and 5. Looking at the windshield here from this angle here, again, just a couple little rock chips there. Uh, the dash while I'm here, just get a quick view there. Right, I'm not expecting to see any uh, cracks, but I always like to check for blemishes just in case. And the right front wheel, same thing with the uh, paint finish. We got the uh, rotors where you can see they're pretty heavily grooved with a nice lip on there. Well, not nice, but with a sizable lip there. I think I can get the brake pad here. Then one final view of the wheel well area. Do one final pushback view before I move on to the rest of the vehicle. about three to four miles. Vehicle accelerates well. When we applied the brakes, there was no shimmy, uh, no shaking of the steering wheel. I, I drove it first. When I drove it, the uh, steering wheel was straight when I released my hands. Same with the braking, didn't feel it, no pulsation from the, the brake pads. Shifting was seamless. We drove it aggressively as well and it seemed to perform well. I already checked the windshield wipers, we checked the functions, we checked the phone connection, the heated seats, the AC heater, that all works. I verified that the the start, uh, remote start, uh, to start the engine works as well. All the lights have checked out, rear view camera and the and the um, PDC sensors. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're pulling up now and we're gonna wrap up the inspection.